Hey everybody, Sean Tierney here with the Automation Minute, and in today's episode, we're going to talk about the 1756 DH RIO module, and that's a module, a communication bridge module from Rock Automation, that uh, works with the Control Logic system and allows you to have uh, either two remote I/O uh, networks or two Data Highway Plus networks, or one of each. And uh, you can see it here. I got the module here. It says at the top DH Plus RIO. I'm going to see channel one. Uh, I'm sorry, channel A, channel B, and OK indicators, as well as that uh, that uh, that indicator that uh, displays all kinds of good information about is it Data Hive Plus, is it Remote I/O, is it working, is there a problem, is there a duplicate address? So the status indicator display is just great. They added that to the L7, um, but I wish we had that on all of the processors and even on all of the compact because it's just so much good information we see there. Um, here you can see our two. Uh, three position uh, terminal block uh, spaces where we'll put our terminal blocks. And uh, we have the uh, connector, just like on the PLC5, we have that uh, that uh, circular connector there that is tied internally to this top port, port A. And uh, this would be port B at the bottom. Here we have the uh, the color code. Uh, I like to point this out for my buddy Brian. We can see that Data Highway Plus is clear, shield, blue. And uh, Remote I.O. is blue, shield, clear. And I, I always, a good way to remember that Data Highway Plus Number one is clear. It's because Data Hardware Plus is easy to use. It's very clear. And uh, where remote I.O. isn't always so easy to use, especially block transfers and, and all that stuff. So so that's easy easy way to remember that. Data Highway Plus 1 is always clear because uh, it's easy to use. It's very easy to use. Um, so we can see the part number here on the bottom of the, uh, of the door. And now let's go ahead and take a look at the part, the catalog number and part number on the label here. Here we can see the catalog number, 1756DHRIO. We can see the Series C. We can see the barcode. We can see uh, the date code of when it was made. We can see the series and firmware um, and a bunch of other information on there as well. I'm going to go ahead and flip it over and show you this label. And uh, well, let's turn it like this. Yeah, that'll be better. And uh, on the top, we have two switches, rotary switches. And this allows us to select what each channel does. So is channel A Data Highway Plus or Remote I.O. Same for channel B. Now, one thing to point out, with Data Highway Plus, if you make channel A Data Highway Plus at 230K, you'll notice this note here that tells you that that'll automatically dis disable channel B. So um, if you cranked your Data Highway Plus up to its fastest speed, you only get one port out of this unit. Um, that said, um, if you set it at any of the other settings, you can use channel B for uh, one of these three choices you see here, data highway, remote IO, or data highway. Okay, and then at the bottom here, let me go ahead and turn it around now, because that's upside down. On the bottom here, we can see that um, we have addressing for channel A and addressing for channel B. So let me flip that up there, and you can see the switches here. Okay. And so if you're replacing a unit in the field, you'll definitely want to make those switches match before you uh, put the new module in. Um, and that's it for the 1756 DHRIO module. Uh, very easy to set up, not a lot of programming. If you're not using it for remote I.O., if you're only using it for Data Highway Plus, you don't have to add it in your studio uh, I.O. tree because it's not acting as I.O. That was a big mistake people did back in the early, late 90s, early 2000s, is uh, they would always put it in the tree and then they'd get a yellow a yellow triangle saying, hey, there's no I.O. on that. Well, yeah, if you have it set up for Data Hub Plus, it's not talking to I.O. Um, 